In this video, we're going to look at a quad plate for homophilus identification. So here I have an uninoculated quad plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and flip it over here. And each quadrant has something uh, just specific about it or a little bit different. Uh, the first one, it looks like sheep blood and it does contain sheep blood but it also contains both X and V factors, which of course we know regular sheep blood plate would not contain. Now the purpose here uh, of this quadrant is really to check for hemolysis. We have hemophilus, uh, hemolyticus and perihemolyticus. In order to identify them, we need to be able to see if they're hemolytic or not. Over here, we have uh, the second quadrant. And as you can kind of see there in the background on the plate, there's a, each of these uh, quadrants are numbered. Uh, this particular one contains X factor only. And then if we go down here, this is the uh, third one. This contains uh, V factor only. And then over here we just have chocolate, which of course contains both X and V. So when we inoculate this, uh, so on this particular plate, I know it, that it's uh, Haemophilus parainfluenza. Okay, so when I inoculated this, I didn't make a lawn. I just really took a little bit of organism with my loop and just went back and forth on the surface. And it needs to be a light inoculation. If you do it too heavy, then you're going to, on, especially on uh, quadrants two and three, you're going to get what looks like uh, actual growth. So uh, here we have growth on... Um, in the first quadrant, which is the uh, sh sheep blood with X and V. Okay, so that doesn't really tell us much other than we can see that this particular, uh, there's no hemolysis here, so we know that it's probably not one of, it's not hemolyticus or perihemolyticus. Uh, in the second quadrant, where we have X factor only, there's no growth. In the third, where we have V factor only, we do have growth. And over here in the chocolate, we have growth. So that kind of follows the pattern of uh, Haemophilus uh, parainfluenza because parainfluenza requires V factor only. So V factor is in the first one, it is not in the second one, it's in the third one, and it's in the fourth one. So uh, according to this uh, quad plate, we can you know say with some certainty that this is Haemophilus parainfluenza.